Good afternoon and welcome back to Genetics 101. Today we're going to talk about the E. locus. Uh, if you have not seen our previous videos of this series, I would definitely go back and do those, uh, A, B, C, and D, and that way you can catch up uh, with where we are. Uh, the E. locus uh, there's there's four main alleles that take place at the E locus. Um, the most dominant allele is what we call ES. Uh, it is where you're going to find the color of steel. Now steel is a unique uh, color to work in. It is very prominent in what you'll see in many lops and in some of the other breeds. Um, but we, we we're going to show you what a steel looks like today. Again, it's not a color that if it can't be held recessive. Okay, steel if it's present, it's going to be there, um, and it can appear in a many many different ways. Uh, and I will try to show you um, the best way to to recognize it. So when you see it. Uh, they can be gold tipped or they can be silver tipped. Um, you can have the steel covering the entire body. I've had some situations where steel doesn't cover the entire body. It's not fully developed, uh, but it's still present. Uh, we're not going to get into a whole lot of, of steel, okay? Because steel is kind of a, an animal in itself. Um, it's a color that here at the rabbitry we really try to avoid. Um, we do work in it uh, very, uh, a very small amount, but we don't spend a lot of time with it um, because it is very, very dominant. And so uh, when you're breeding rabbits that are steel-based, you're going to have a very high chance of, of steel uh, coming out in your rabbits. The main thing to remember is, is that steel rabbits uh, are generally, uh, they can fall in any pattern but if you have an agouti, for instance, which we learned in, at the A locus lesson that you're, they're recognizable by agouti rings, what steel does is it actually removes those rings and makes it look like a self. Uh, it will be a self with the gold tipping or the silver tipping that you'll see. Uh, there is a condition where if both of the alleles are ES, meaning it has two copies of the steel gene, that the, the tipping that you would see on the outside of the rabbit visually uh, will actually go away as well, making it look like a black rabbit. So you may purchase a black rabbit. It looks black. You know, there's it looks like a black self. You breed that to, let's say, a blue rabbit, and all of a sudden you've got gold-tipped or silver-tipped steel. And that's because it's a condition when you have two of these uh, ES alleles together, you're going to have a situation called super steel. And what that does is it takes steel a step further and removes not only the goody rings, but removes the tipping as well. And so a black rabbit could in fact be super steel. So if you're getting steel rabbits, steel tip or silver tip or gold tip steel out of a solid black rabbit that you have or a solid color that's not showing any signs of, of steel, uh, it is, in fact, a super steel uh, because what you're doing is you're breaking these two. In that case of super steel, you'd have ES, ES. You're breaking that in half and transmitting a, a steel allele to each of the kits. And then, of course, the other parent not containing steel can transmit E, E, J, or E, and uh, you'll get nothing but steel. Okay? Uh, there are some co-dominance issues if you talk to people that are that are heavily engaged with steel. Um, there are dominance issues, co-dominance, incomplete dominance, things that you're going to see. We're not going to cover that. This is basic. That's more in the advanced genetics. We're not going to cover that. I just want you to be aware of what steel is and super steel. Next gene, which is probably going to be very common, is your full extension. Full extension is going to be uh, colors that uh, revolve around uh, complete coloring of the hair shaft. Um, you're going to see that in you know, like your blues, your blacks, your chestnuts. It's a full extension of color. 
down the hair shaft. Uh, next up is EJ. Now EJ is a uh, more recessive than full extension. EJ is going to be responsible for your Harlequins, uh, for your Charlies. Uh, if you when we get into Charlies here a little bit later, um, you're also going to see that in Tricolor, which is Tricolor is technically Harlequin with a broken gene. So your Tricolors, your Harlequins, your Charlies. Um, all of those are going to be based off of this gene. Uh, it can represent in a lot of different ways. Um, there's a proper way for the expression of the color, and there's an improper way for the expression. And that's going to come down to just uh, really uh, what, what alleles line up. Uh, ultimately, you want Harlequin in, in a goody based or a goody patterned rabbit. And you ideally want to have two copies of EJ for it to present correctly. You can get it to present correctly with one non-extension, but it's harder to do. What we see is a lot of incomplete dominance between EJ and non-extension, which is also tort. Uh, and it actually causes a brindled uh, look to your rabbit rather than the patchy network that we would normally want to see in a tricolor, a, tri a proper tricolor, or a proper harlequin. Uh, last and the most recessive is non-extension. It is responsible for tort when two copies are present. Again, like all the other alleles, the most recessive of the alleles at each locus point, you must have two copies of that for that particular allele to present in the color of the rabbit. So blue tort, black tort uh, are going to be common in that, uh, sable point. Uh, and one thing I'd like to note is orange also falls in that category. Orange is an agouti base, uh, but it also carries two non-extension. Uh, but basically what we're seeing there is not all the hair shafts on the rabbit are of continuous uh, extension, just like we would see in full extension, where the entire rabbit is covered in uh, the same type of coloring. That's where we see the tort, tortoise shell. You know, when we talk about tort, we're talking about tortoise shell appearance of the hair. Not all the hair shafts are ideally the, the same. Okay, so we're, we're retarding some of that color and that's what we, where we get non-extension. Let me grab some rabbits and we're going to talk about the colors that we have and um, that way you can kind of see what the difference is between all of these and we'll go from there.